Welcome to Pet Allies Adoption Minute, sponsored by Sholo TV. I'm Jill Tinkle, and I have my little disguised co-host, <laughs> Odie, today. And oh, RJ is that Odie? I wasn't it, sure. It is Odie. It looked like a hot dog to you, it didn't it? it? I thought it was. Yeah. I was getting hungry. He's starting <laughs> for, getting ready for Halloween. I see. Oh, early, I see. Because he wants to let everybody know the place to shop for your Halloween costume isn't where you think it is. No, you can be very creative and get things at the Bark and Basement. At Bark and Basement. Yeah. They get all kinds of pet costumes we just do. like this. He likes to be seen. So the vanity has come out. He said, I am a star. Uh -huh. Look at my face uh -huh. well, and my costume. see a little bit of the hot dog yes. there. Yeah. So it's a great place to get pet costumes. I know. thinking about having a snack. I think so, too. Because <laughs> I picked up a few there. And then mm -hmm. people costumes as well. Yes. No better place to go. Vintage clothing that you can have a lot of fun with making up costumes. I've seen 60s, nurse 70s, outfits. Yeah. There was a square well, dancing yeah. outfit yes, that were very yes. fun that were there. Yeah. All kinds of furs vintage yep. things yep. all the time yep. best place to go yep okay so the best place to find bark and basement is basically you're on the way to pet sands and ross and right. and those places you're just basically across the street in the bright blue building the bright blue building is really cannot hard to miss. miss that building yes <laughs> cannot miss so and the reason we want you to shop there is because we always say bark and basement those sales put kibble on the table that's right for little guys like him this is rudy okay so tell us about rudy so, and how Bark and Basement supports him and why, why he can be here because yeah. of Bark and Basement. <laughs> so Rudy's family um, lost their home. They were evicted because the landlord sold the house. And they came to the shelter an hour before we opened one morning um, with a U-Haul and a pickup. And we're not really sure how many dogs in the pickup and we never got to look in the U-Haul. But in the pickup, um, we counted 20 and we took, um, they wanted to turn in five. They couldn't really tell us which five because they had so many dogs they didn't know really which ones they were trying to find a home for just to make space in their pickup and um, they were sad to lose their dogs but um, we ended up taking six one which had puppies two days later six puppies so we ended up with 12 and um, we didn't have any space in the shelter but it was a pretty traumatic situation for everybody there so we just set up some crates and put little dogs in crates and and um, squeezed them in, called a bunch of fosters and um, managed to make it work. So Rudy is about eight months old, probably Dachshund, Terrier, Chihuahua mix. And he's good with other dogs, but he wants to, he is showing some tendencies of being the alpha dog. He might be an alpha or just might be the guarding food because maybe there were some issues with that many dogs. It's hard to I can imagine. make sure that he can eat properly with that many dogs. So yes. he might just have some food issues that he has to work through. But he's very nice. So yeah. he's very yeah. social. Yeah. He's been very well behaved here mm -hmm. with us. He's in a foster home so he's house trained, ready to go. That's great. And he's yeah. not going to be as big as his paws say he is. <laughs> oh, no, he's pretty, uh, he, he, yeah, we're, he's we're pretty thinking, close to being full grown. Yeah, exactly. And the yeah. paws look like they belong to a German shepherd. <laughs> so the paws were thinking like our large dachshunds have huge paws yeah. for the size Especially of their Especially the front paws because they yeah. dig. Yes. Yeah. So that's why he looks like he's going to be bigger than he is. He's about done growing. So he's a great size. He's going to yep. be a great jogging partner. Oh, yeah. He says he likes jogging, tennis, and Netflix is yep. what he was telling me ahead of time. Yep. So those and are his, popcorn. And popcorn are his, yep. his four favorite things. Mm -hmm. So if you think you're going to accommodate that, he'd be a great little dog for you. He's just very, very nice. So getting back to Bark and Basement, mm -hmm. um, he would like you to be mm -hmm. going to bark, bark and Basement to shop mm -hmm. as well as, but it's time for, I, I don't know about you, but I kind of do fall and spring cleaning. I'm kind of mm -hmm. changing out my clothes and things. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking at things and thinking, mm -hmm. this hasn't been used for a while. Mm -hmm. You know, let's get rid of some things. Right? And so what we ask you to do, and it's way easier than running a dog on garage sale, is pack up those nicer things. Don't don't pack up the trash you were going to discard, but your nicer things and bring them down to Bark and Basement any day, right? Mm -hmm. There's not even just one day between right. these hours you can bring it by any right. time. And bring it by there because you're saving these lives. That's whose lives you're saving is right, right there. Right. And you didn't have to do a garage sale. If you itemize your taxes, it's an instant tax write-off right then and there. So that's how we keep these things going. That is how Pet Allies was able to take, basically, 12 additional dogs above what they had room for. <laughs> I'm wanting the hot dog here, I believe. <laughs> Odie that's said how no. They, that's how they could do it. Odie said, I'm not actually a hot dog. It's a very good costume. But that's how Pet Allies could do that, was because people have generously right. donated and shopped at Bargain right. Basement. Right. So we, we thank that. them. We do. We all thank you. 
And today we thank you for joining us here on Sholo TV for Pet Allies Adoption Minute. And we hope to see you at Bark and Basement. The Pet Allies Animal Shelter is located at 1181 East Thornton in the Sholo Industrial Park. The shelter is open for adoption seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you would like more information about the shelter, its monthly events, or to schedule an adoption outside of regular business hours, visit www.petalliesaz.org or call the shelter at 928-382-7000.